Hey there, welcome to Concept Hunter. Today we're going to talk about Blood Dungeon. The D from Blood is the same D from Dungeon, so it's one word, Blood Dungeon. And uh, it does something pretty interesting for, for the start of it, for the, the tutorial. Uh, we're going to start a new game, and it's normal mode. And we're not going to skip the story, we're actually going to check it out. So, once again, which seems to kind of be the normal case for th these days for some reason, uh, you have to read the description in order to understand what the hell is going on. In this case, for the first time you decide to take part in this hoverboard race inside a Forsaken Temple. Okay, so alright, I'm in, um, so his best time is 42 seconds, I'll do it, I'll do way better. And I just start out. Now, the, the movement is just the arrow keys, very basic, but it's very fast because you're on a hoverboard. I don't know why they decided to be on a hoverboard instead of just running around, but I guess it, it fits the movement style. You kind of feel there's no friction, there's nothing stopping you, you're just kind of hovering about and it's very fast. Which is good and bad, um, kind of works for this game. But let's just look at the mechanics. I clearly want to move forward and there's a giant button over here, so I'll just press it and move forward. This is a tutorial, so we're kind of getting used to what we bump into and what we can't. Some of these levels, uh, or I guess these rooms, some of them are, don't tell us too much, but we kind of get a feel for how the rooms are going to be. Again, this is, this is actually the tutorial, it's not actually the game itself. And we can already see weird things happening, and there's also these pits that we can actually fall through and die, that's a death. Uh, and we start at the beginning of the room pretty quickly. But it's just uh, moving through. Uh, here, here we get to see that there's a shorter path, but clearly a lot more difficult. And it is actually very difficult in this game because we're so fast, which is one of the problems I have with it. It's kind of difficult to go over a single tile locations such as this, uh, which is why this, this is way easier. The, the longer path is way easier. easier. But clearly we're going to have some issue with time pretty quickly. So go, go, I can almost make it, oh my god, so this is the exit, and we don't actually make it, we have to go this alternate path over here at the top, um, we have very limited vision, but we basically need to click this switch, and press that one as well, and then we can move forward to, this is all story reasons, this location, whatever, uh, then we get a little bit of a heart attack, or an eye attack, or a brain attack, whatever you want to call it, I can't bear your stupid races anymore, kind of a seizure, Seizure inducing, uh, it's time for me to have fun. I don't really like this cutscene because of the seizure inducing, but it's okay. I improved your board, it now contains a bomb. Alright, you have 10 seconds to get out of my dungeon. But it seems a bit tough, so I will be kind and reset the bomb after each room. Basically we have 10 seconds to get out of the room. And now, get out, blah blah blah. So uh, after that lovely cutscene, we have a big timer at the top left of the screen, and if I don't get out of this room in those 10 seconds, I will die. So I have to assess the room and get the hell out. In case I do die, in which case these spikes, for example, these spikes killed me, I just start at the beginning. So it's just how many deaths do you have at the end of the game. And though it lends itself very well to procedural generation, makes a lot of sense they want to do this, it's actually, there's no procedural generation, this is this is the game, this is how it is, uh, and you just have to, to pass through it. I didn't actually finish it because it does get incredibly difficult, and that's one of the things I want to talk about, uh, but I actually really like this. It's, it's nice, I would kinda be into procedural generation, but in a way, I'm happy that there isn't procedural generation, because it means they actually had to think about every level. With that said, the levels are kind of odd because all of these up to this point have been kind of easy um, and kind of obvious. I, I do like the the mechanic, the, um, the following, the blocks that just follow you around, but these specific arrows or crossbows, if you will, I've, I'm not a huge fan of them because they're one tile, um, they're one tile. They basically affect one tile. And the problem I have with this, this is not a difficult level. Okay, there, I had zero seconds because I talked for too long. But in in later levels, this is still okay because it, they, you still use them as, as two. But this level, for example, this is the big difficulty spike. When I originally played this game, the first time I played through it, I did not die at all up to this point. Because here, you actually have to move and maneuver around single tile um, hazards, let's call them. And it's really hard because you move very, very, very quickly, and you're also on time constraint. So 
this level, if I'll actually attempt it now, okay, that was almost, actually that was, that was almost it. Um, and they're actually really nice around, around corners. They're actually really nice around corners. They give you a lot of leeway around corners. So that's, that's okay. But the difficulty spike kind of jumped all the way up and it was, I, I didn't love it. Okay, I, I screwed this one up. Uh, I actually have to, to make sure it does follow me. Well, not all the way. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's, let's do this. Have to follow me here and then here and then like this and then, then I'll be fine. Okay. If I don't make sure that it follows me, that's a problem. This level is also very, very difficult. Um, at least it was for me the first time around. Maybe I'll, be, I'll get lucky, but some of these levels are just really, really, really difficult all of a sudden. It's usually about precise movement because you are very fast. And if you understand what you need to do in the level, that's good. But the problem that we have here is with precision. How did I die? The game just paused. Sometimes the game, uh, there, there are performance issues, let's call them. Um, and this is a, a level that I don't really understand. I guess it's meant to show me that if there's, if there's a, a gap, then these, the blocks that follow me don't actually follow me. I don't know. I would like, I think the one thing that would kind of solve most of it is a slow button. And that's the only thing that I want in this game. I want to be able to press space and then slow down to half my speed in order to do precision, precision things. And then I would kind of be good with this game completely. Uh, but without it doing anything that's precision, and there's a lot of times where, where the level asks you for precision, it's kind of really, really, really difficult and, and just feels kind of bad. Uh, aside from that, I really liked it. It's called Blood Dungeon. It's by, I'm going to butcher this name because it starts with an X and I have no idea how to read that. It's either Shaichuru or Ksaichuru. I think, uh, zero four. Uh, but yeah, this is Blood Dungeon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.